next evening, nice and cool. Temperatures falling in the 70s. A nice break from the extended heat that we've been oh, dealing with and all agreed. the heat and humidity. The humidity has been the biggest part as uh, 87 degrees for an afternoon high temperature here in Oklahoma City. Some 90s off towards the southwest. Our average high temperature should be in the middle 90s this time of the year. Even some middle 80s there across northwest or northeast portions of the state. July highs so far. Again, I will say I was a little surprised. I thought it kind of feels a little hotter so far this uh, uh, month, but it was the humidity, I think, that was really just kicking us. Uh, we had some days with all the rain around stuck in the 80s. Look at all the 80s here, uh, the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, and then we had another couple of days of 80s here the last two days, but here comes the 90s tomorrow, and I think next week, We'll see our first 100 degree high temperature because we're starting to dry things out here at the surface, especially from central and southern half of the state. This last week, we've been pretty bone dry for the most part. All the rain here the last uh, week has been off towards the north, but we're still holding on nearly six inches above average for the month of July, nearly uh, almost six inches of above average for the entire year. A little bit different than the last time the heat built in as we've seen a brief break in the humidity, the north winds brought that humidity down. That's why it's going to be comfortable here this evening, comfortable tomorrow morning. The humidity doesn't really increase tomorrow, and it really won't increase next week. It's because the north winds have kind of scoured out the moisture off towards the east. So when the heat dome kind of builds overhead, yes, we're going to be sunny and hot, but that humidity dial has been turned down. So instead of the humidity or the dew points into the 70s, middle to upper 70s, and every day we were in the middle to upper 90s, but the heat index was 110 to 115. We had 126, don't forget, last week, what it felt like. This will be a little bit less humidity, and that's why I think we'll see our first 100 degree day officially here at Will Rogers Airport as we head towards maybe as early as Wednesday, but definitely Thursday and Friday because the heat dome will be smack over us with lots of sunshine. And again, wall to wall sunshine from sunrise to sunset as still some cool air here across the northern plains into the northeast and northeast. Now, it's been nice, a nice summer for them, below average high temperatures. This is still up to the north. Here in about 10 to 12 days, there is some indications this comes roaring back. And just like how we started the month of July, we might get back into that active pattern with more showers and thunderstorm chances and below average temperatures. So we'll just have to wait and see how everything stacks up. But over the next week, I just get used to the dog days of summer. Temperatures outside right now already falling through the 80s with that comfortable humidity. So make those evening plans. Showers and thunderstorms across the great uh, the uh, southeast coast. We're quiet here, but a little weather system is going to be zipping along the jet stream here from north to south. And a couple clouds and an isolated shower could arrive late tonight. Okay, not in here this evening. For the majority of the overnight, we're quiet, but late overnight into daybreak, a couple isolated showers could develop here north and a couple of showers southwest. But for the most part, I think we'll be dry and sunny for the rest of tomorrow. Overnight, late tonight, a couple isolated showers. They'll be weakening showers and thunderstorms through Kansas. Temperatures fall down into the upper si upper 60s for the most part. Some areas could be down to 64, 65. A couple of isolated showers, maybe a rumble of thunder tomorrow morning northeast and southwest. Otherwise, lots of sunshine rebound into the 90s. More seasonable weather with a light wind tomorrow as the heat starts to crank up tomorrow and really cranks up Monday, Tuesday. And then here comes those upper 90s to low 100s, a little less humidity. So again, it's still hot, but a little bit low, uh, tolerable with those low temperatures down into the middle to upper 60s. So the dog days of summer, here they come. Sylvia. All right. Thanks.